Hello everyone, this is Seaguard, and I am bringing you my video on my fused glass art that I have been doing for the longest, so I feel like I'll just run through it first. <clears throat> and instead of telling you my history in the medium, I'm just going to try to talk about the pieces as they come up. I know it's only you know five seconds a piece, but if you like it, you can pause on the image. You know, take a picture, it'll last longer. Alright, so that's Mr. Game Watch's Nine Hammer. Super awesome. Yeah, made with a ton of little canes. Or, not canes, but, oh gosh, like threads almost. But anyways, that's what basically all these are. It's my fusing, ah, fusing style, per se. But then again, yeah, I really love that sort of style and stuff. Geometry, things like that. It's one of my favorite pieces. And that is pretty cool as well. And these are right before they're put in the kiln to be fired. So that's, you know, the rough stuff. And then, you know, I put the clear uh, piece on top and then set it in the kiln, set the kiln to fire, and it fuses it all even and flat and awesome. And, you know, some glow under black light. That's what that was. And now these are, you know, that, that was before, this is after. So, yeah, as you can see, the glass is clearly melted into one cohesive mass. And, yeah, not bad. Pretty cool. Glows in the dark. I mean, under black light. And then there are some other pieces. Uh, one, of my, one of my first necklaces, yeah, and smash pendants as well. One of my favorite pieces right there. You know, that fired and then... Some of these funky ones. It's pretty great. Again, some more geometry. Testing some things out. And that's a pretty cool one, that as well. See, I've been trying to replicate that one pattern. It, it's going to come up. And I'll tell you what it is. But yeah, I've been trying to replicate it for so long and haven't really succeeded. I love that one, though. That's pretty nice. The orange stuff like that. You know, some turn out nicer than others. That's, you know, half decent, I guess. But smash ball pendants. You know, I tried selling those for so long. And pokeball pendants. But nobody, nobody, I don't know, took the bait. Nobody bought anything. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can, you know, sell that anymore. Or I can just make things for myself. Which I'll obviously do. I mean, I'll, I'll make things. But will people buy them, you know? I have no idea, and they're quite reasonably priced too. I mean, what what I put them at like thirty bucks. Y'all can y'all can afford that. So, anyways, <clears throat> this is opening the kiln that is uh, being fired, and as you can see, it's pretty hot. Uh, pan to the temperature soon, but it might be around one thousand four hundred in there right now. Yeah, one thousand three eighty eight. And it drops pretty quickly because, um, well, normal air temperature is not around 1,400 degrees. So, yeah, now all that heat evacuates pretty quickly, and I need it to get to around 950. Well, let's say 9, like 60 something. So, see, that's annealing temperature, and what that does is you let it soak there for long enough and it relieves the stress uh, inherent in such rapid cooling as this and <clears throat> or even heating up and then you just lower it down slow enough and then no stress is formed of the piece and it's safe and awesome so that is this process called crash cooling. But anyways, you can see the smash ball pendants in there. It was a long time ago, like like two winters ago. Oh wow. Yeah, gee, I wish I was that free. But anyways, yeah, it's a nice time. Just first real getting into fusing right there. It's really warm too. It's nice and hot. You just sort of stay there and yeah, it's real nice you can feel all that heat 
Yeah, another style of Smash Ball Pendant. I really love this one, but then again, it, it requires a lot more work. Uh, I gotta be honest, so I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, corners are a lot tighter, so that's always good. Some nice coasters I made, all the different forms of glass I work with, bar plate rod, and the weirdest Smash Ball Pendant I made, those... That, you know, cross is made out of, or that was mirror. Some pieces of mirror I just happened to throw in there. So it was nice that that worked out. But yeah, some, some real nice pieces here. Snowy day. I don't know what that black line in that white was, though. Um, some other nice geometric Pokeball pendant. Other Smash Ball pendant. I love that one. Shiny blue and white. No, I just can't beat that. Super classic. And spiral. It's pretty pretty cool. Nice. And roll the Pokeball. And a lot of tests that I was doing, seeing what things would do, how they would turn out. Pokeball on Pikachu's shirt, which is pretty great. Yeah, that this is the one. That's my favorite one. I've been trying to replicate for so long, and I just haven't really succeeded. An N, and some more pendants that didn't work out because the bales were too thin. Um, anyways, oh yeah, and I also, you know, that straight bale you saw, I worked that into a loop in my torch. So, yeah, that's how I get the bale on all those, or at least that's how I did. I might work up another method, but, oh well, anyways. This has been my fused pieces. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day or night.